Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the March 17th, 2021 meeting of the Hyde Park Planning Board. A happy St. Patrick's Day to all. Uh, please note that every member of the planning board is wearing some shade of green as well as our consultants. That noted, uh, let me first point out that this meeting is being conducted as authorized by Executive Order 202.1, last extended as 202.96 by Governor Andrew Cuomo. Let me first confirm that every member of the board is alone or without someone around you trying to influence your vote. Ms. DiNapoli? I am alone. Mr. Oliver? I'm alone. Vice Chair Dexter? I'm alone. Ms. Weiser? I'm alone. And Mr. Pickett? I am alone. And for the record, uh, Ms. Wasser is absent tonight. She's in Boston, I hope, celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day in one of the most Irish of our cities in the United States. Let me start by opening with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, of America. And to, to the republic the for which it, stands, which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The first item on the agenda is a new public hearing for Dutchess County SPCA. The applicants are proposing the addition of a small or somewhat modest medical clinic this would be a new medical clinic, but it's actually just replacing or rather moving an existing use from an older structure into the new one. Make it a motion to open the public hearing. Make a motion to open the public hearing for the Dutchess County SPCA edition. I'll second that. Ann Dexter. Thank you. All in favor, please raise your hand. Signify by saying aye. 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 Any nays or abstentions? There being none, the motion carries unanimously. So from our last workshops, we seem to have resolved the flat roof issue, as noted uh, when we adopted the new cross, the new town core and quarter business zoning. Uh, it was somehow inadvertently left in that flat roofs are now only allowed in the town core district that will be resolved. But in the meantime, Mr. Sweeney, the architect, did I think a really neat and elegant sort of solution there by proposing part of the roof that uh, looks toward the back to have a, a tilt to it, which sort of represents how the overall uh, structure roof on the new newish structure, I'll call it, looks in the first place. We also circulated to Dutchess County Planning, which responded that it was a matter of local concern. In a phone conversation with Ms. LaVarnway, she did note that it was a little bit unclear whether the entry to the new clinic was actually paved. Mr. Sweeney confirmed that it is in a subsequent email. We also heard back from the Roosevelt Fire Department. They had no objections either as long as the building was compliant with the fire code. This leaves really for us a question about whether the septic for the new clinic can tie into the system for the newer building or whether they will need to use the older structure septic. Using the latter would cost more because of the distance uh, going toward it. And I know that, that um, the applicants are working with our engineering consultant with the Department of Health. So let me first turn it over to Mr. Sweeney. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I think uh, I think you covered it very succinctly. <laughs> Thank you. I'll also note that we had no one from the public sign up to speak at the public hearing, which is why I kind of rushed it through. Um, we had several meetings on this before in workshop, <clears throat> so I think anyone who's interested has probably seen uh, what we've been saying. Let me go to our consultants and start with Mr. Sotero since you're on the road. Pete, any comments? Uh, yeah, um, the only thing is... Um uh, um, as, as you had said, I had offered to um, donate our time towards uh, helping the SPCA with the health department approval. I did speak to uh, Jason T. Uh, yesterday from the county uh, health department, so uh, I don't think that the approval is going to be um, complicated. So I've asked for some water use uh, records from the Dutch County Water and Wastewater uh, Authority because uh, we are trying to see if the um, uh, the sewage disposal system at Kurt that serves the uh, current adoption center has excess capacity because it would be easier if we could just go tie into that. Uh, so I should have that information probably next week and um, then we'll put together something and I'll submit it to the uh, county health department. But, you know, he said that either way that it's not going to be any kind of a complicated so. Um, I want to thank you as someone who's a donor to the SPCA for also volunteering your time, Pete. 
And yes, either way, it should be able to be resolved because they have an existing septic. It's just it's more expense to get it over there. So um, yeah. we'll hope that they, that they have excess capacity in the side of the new system. Ms. Franson, any comments? Uh, I had some minor comments. Uh, my memo really just memorialized where we are in the process. Um, we've opened the public hearing. Seeker, this was a type two action. Uh, we discussed the referrals, uh, planning, uh, matter of local determination. We spoke with the Department of Health uh, permit. And then Roosevelt Fire also had um, commented and indicated they had no issues. Um, there were some minor comments on my part about some general notes that might be added to the sheets and they certainly could be made any kind of condition of approval if the planning board felt that they were even necessary. And then lastly, you touched upon the flat roof um, matter, which they have resolved um, by providing some angle on the roof. So I think from my perspective, my comments uh, and most of the comments have been addressed. Thank you, Bonnie. I know that the three uh, sort of technical issues you had could be conditions because they're all just adding things to uh, notes to the, pla the plans themselves. Um, Ms. Moss, any comments? Uh, just in support of the comments that Bonnie Franson had. You would prefer to see those make conditions, in other words? Yes. Thank you very much. And Ms. Polidoro, any comments? Hi, everyone. Uh, one of the things that we had discussed when the applicant was proposing to hook up to this septic for the old building is putting a restriction or a condition on approval, making it clear that any use of the administration building would have to come back for planning board approval to make sure that there was adequate septic, adequate parking, et cetera. Um, if, if the new building is hooking up to the new septic, uh, we may not need that condition. So I'm curious how the board members feel. Do you still wanna see it come back to review parking. I'll ask each board member, but we'll so what uh, Victoria is referring to is if the new addition uses the older building, the one that's being abandoned, if they use that septic, then there's not septic left for that building. But also they didn't add any parking because you're essentially just moving a use from one building into a new building. But they would need more parking likely if they went to try to use, to try to reuse the existing building. Um, that's being more or less abandoned. Mr. Sweeney noted that in his opinion, it needs to be torn down. But I also note that at some point, um, there was a discussion way back when by the uh, SPCA of possibly moving the sort of, um, they have a, a retail outlet in the hidden plaza just south of the site where they sell things that are donated to them for additional revenues. So they might move that there. Um, also, I should have mentioned that Ms. Moss noted that she was told by our assessor that at some point the SPCA was, there was an ad about leasing space. Tad wondered if that was in the old structure that's being abandoned. And we confirmed with Ms. Malacaro, who's the executive director of the SPCA, that no, when their times were sort of really bad, they were looking to maybe rent out actual space within the adoption building, but they had no takers. So that's kind of been abandoned along the way. Um, but we'll ask each of you whether you think that note should still be added, that they would have to return to us if any new use is proposed for the old building that's located to the north. Anything else, Victoria? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. So let me start with the board members. Ms. DiNapoli? Um, to answer the first question, I, I think it would be a good idea to add it to the plans. It's, um, I think we could quickly resolve it if they ever had to come before us, so I don't see the harm in it. Um, Mr. Sweeney, I want to thank you for your magic quilt and how you adjusted the roof line. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, Diane. Mr. Oliver? I agree with uh, Diane. I think we should um, add it to the plans. I think it just kind of keeps everything, you know, neater and all together and makes sense to me. And thank you for, for your work on the project. And other than that, I have no other comments. Thank you. Vice Chair Dexter? Occur with my colleagues that it should be on the plan. <laughs> um, I did just want to add, I don't think that they're going to have a problem with the uh, Department of Health for the um, septic for the newest building there. That was at, at overcast. I mean, they could put on so many new things. It was, it was sized out for the full build out of the site. So it can handle whatever you want to throw at it. Um. 
And that's what I thought. It's good to have institutional memory because I thought that when they built it, they designed it for the subsequent phases so they wouldn't have to come back each time. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, to be honest, either either one of them would work. The, uh, the, the one behind the old building is also a new system and and pretty much would have throw that either. Oh, that's great to know. Okay, thank you. Mr. Pickett? Uh, nothing new. I confer with my uh, previous board members. Thank you. Ms. Weiser? Hang on. Okay. Um, no, I agree with my, my uh, board members as well. And, uh, and then, and also thank you again. I think the addition is a, is a wonderful response to their needs and it looks like it was really just part of the building. So it looks great. Thanks. Thank you. Um, I'll also note that we resolved the door exit into the drive aisle. Bollards were added. And again, the minor items in the Nelson Pope Voris, a comment letter from Ms. Franson can be made conditions of approval. Um, I believe that it's recommended that we keep this open for one more meeting so that we can resolve the Department of Health septic line issue on the plans, as well as um, for those who don't know, town hall emails were down for, I guess, roughly about 48 or more hours. So if there were members of the public who tried to log in the last two days and send it by email, the emails apparently disappeared into the Great Maw. This was a hack that was uh, apparently town of Poughkeepsie, I believe, was hacked as well. So it affected more than one, one municipality. It was part of the Microsoft hack that I guess people have read about. Um, anyway, the town hall emails are back up and running. So it was suggested that we adjourn this to April 7th, at which time then we could consider closing because as Mr. Sotero noted, we should have Department of Health uh, decisions by that point. Anybody have any other comments? Mr. Sweeney, does that sound okay to you? You know, it, obviously, um, you know, we look forward to, to resolving this, but I just, you know, thank you all for, you know, working with us on resolving some of these, you know, these com complications we didn't anticipate. Um, and I know that, uh, the, you know, SPCA also is very grateful, so. Um, Thank you for your focus and attention. It's been a pleasure to work with you, Peter. Um, I'm sorry this is the first time, but I hope we have some meetings together in the future and you do more business here in Hyde Park. So may I get a motion to adjourn this to April 7th? I'll make that motion and Dexter. Second, I'll second that, Ann Weiser. All in favor, please raise your hand. Say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Peter. We'll see you in three weeks. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. And if you're... If you're considering just now starting to celebrate, don't drink too much green beer. Okay. Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Me too. The next item on the agenda is Phantom Fireworks. The applicants are seeking approval for a, a, approval for a pop-up. Um, I want to point out that they do this every year. Uh, Ms. Moss has already recommended the site plan approval of the waiver, which is the only way we can actually do something for a commercial mm -hmm. site. And I believe, anybody have any questions? I just wanna say, I appreciate the fact that the owner does this every year because this is sort of a safety issue too. We need to know where the actual fireworks are located and he's gotten to where he applies rather early each time, which is great. So I believe this will be introduced by Ms. Napoli. Yep. Phantom Fireworks, Eastern Region, Gardner Van Balkenberg. Site plan waiver town code section 108-9.4 C1 and 2 resolution 2021-10 whereas six times therefore be it resolved that the town of High Park Planning Board hereby waive site plan requirements for the proposed temporary change estimated on January 22nd 2021 and on drawings for as submitted and that such request is to be incorporated into the record. Captain Chris Oliver. Thank you. Any further comments? All in favor, please raise your hand. Say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is a new sign for Renaissance Nursing and Rehabilitation. Um, considering that we had <clears throat> some issues last time with the original sign as erected before it was approved and then adjusted. Um, apparently they've changed some of their branding to uh, get rid of most of the purple and make it more green. Um, the sign is code compliant, as Ms. Moss has noted. 
requires no other variances. It has a variance, uh, I believe, for uh, the symbols. And I believe, anybody have any questions or comments about this? I believe my, our vice chair is going to introduce this resolution. Yes, and I think it looks really nice. So very conducive. Um, resolution recommendation for issuance of signed permit pursuant to town code section 108-24.3A4D. Replace an image on existing freestanding sign resolution number 2021-12. Whereas, 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 be it resolved that board hereby recommends a zoning administrator issue the signed permits for Renaissance nursing and rehabilitation facility based on the signed permit application submitted March 3rd, 2021 by Abraham. Second it. Thank Diane you. Any further discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand to say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is a site plan waiver for Jack and Donna, excuse me, John and Donna Dorak. They're my neighbors, so we call them Jack uh, and Donna. At any rate, this is for the ex repair of an existing deck. It happens to be in the scenic area statewide significance and this deck is visible from the river however it's not making any changes to the railings or the deck anybody have any questions i will introduce this resolution uh, site plan waiver town code section 108-9.4 c2 jack and donna dorak 16 curry lane hyde park new york 6065045891370 is the grid number resolution 2021-13 Present application requesting a waiver of site plans been made to the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board by Jack and Donna Dorf for property located at 16 Curry Lane, Hyde Park, New York, and whereas, whereas. Now, therefore, be a result, the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board hereby waives site plan requirements for the file entitled Dorak Deck Replacement regarding the specific request as received March 12, 2021, as identified in the building permit application dated March 8, 2021, for this project. Second, Ann Weiser. Thank you. All in favor, please raise your hand, say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously as well. Thank you. And that's the last item on the agenda tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for <laughs> everyone dressing up so nicely to look festive for St. Patrick's Day. Mr. Sotero, thanks for calling in. Be safe as you drive the rest of the way. No Hope you and Gail Thank enjoy you. your trip. And we'll see you in we two will. weeks. Make it a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion, Chris Oliver. I'll second it, Diane Tanapoli. In favor, please raise your hand. Aye. 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 Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Yes, Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank Good you, night. Councilman Krupnik. Thank you, Councilman Krupnik, Thanks for running the meeting and Thank Supervisor Roar for providing the resources to do so.